Welcome back to Poops and Pilots. Let's play some more Human Desires Forest the Oirad. What are we going for? Well, the Tomb of Crisis, which is not an achievement, but simply a mission and a quest chain or an event chain um, for Oirad to fight the Ming. And uh, after restarting our campaign, because I did not read up on what you have to do to actually get this thing to fire. Um, so we actually had a three episode run where we just couldn't fire the thing anymore. Uh, we restarted and then on the very first episode last time fired the events. We've broken the Ming, uh, we've captured the Emperor, they have no mandate, zero mandate. We've taken control of northern China here, China. Um, we had to take a bit of a break on Congress because our whole country was occupied and we had rebel issues due to that, because Ming's unrest applied, not ours. But that is handled now. My troops are coalescing again and then we can just beat the rest up here. You'll notice, if we check the ledger here, Ming has no more manpower and they can't buy essentially any mercenaries because of the non-existent mandate, which gives a, I believe, a 200% reduction to available mercenaries, yeah. Um, so they shouldn't be able to buy any. Why 200% you might ask? Um, it used to be 100% before the last patch. But um, it turns out that if you have, in Paradox Math, if you have modifiers that give you um, extra mercenaries, then that actually just gets added up onto these minus 100. So you could still have a ton of mercenaries available, especially with the size of the Ming. Ooh, they're also starting off to rebellions, to have rebellions, excellent. Um, Ava will give me 35 ducats at a loan of 4%. We can just not pay that back. I'm going to take that money. I'm going to decide whether we pay it back later. Um, but 4% is fine interest. I believe we pay 5 if we take a normal loan, right? Uh, no, also 4. Um, so it's the same as taking a normal loan, but we always have the option of not paying it back. Which has some diplomatic repercussions, but nothing much. Except really for the fact that other people won't give me loans anymore, but I mean... <laughs> That is kind of understandable, right? So, all we need to do is crunch these utterly weak Ming armies. And they're utterly weak because the loss of mandate not only hurts their manpower, uh, everything. Uh, aside from the everything, it also hurts their um, shock damage. Or increases the shock damage they receive. and uh, Shock and fire damage they receive. And yes, they receive. So, that is obviously excellent. And we are just gonna use that. I'm not super afraid of this guy. Um, since Ming has no manpower, I assume that as soon as they actually start sieging down provinces, they will realize that um, they can't really do that. Uh, because they're gonna take some attrition, and when they take attrition, they just can't reinforce and are dead. Still have my subject here to deal uh, with their land. It gives us a relations bonus, which is minor, but there. And it gives us a... Um, well, a subject that is no longer sieged down is going to be helpful. Do I want Corchin's loan to 2%? It's only 10 ducats, but yeah, I'm going to take it. I'd rather take these cheap loans. Again, maybe not pay them back at all. And... Okay, I want to kill you. Where are you going? Down there. Are oh, you trying to deal with your rebels? And I guess that's fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna put subject on siege focus now. Hey, boa. Uh, Where's my subject button? There. Subject, Reno, go siege stuff down. And I think you can take start taking this. Now it's really about um, taking the land that we want to actually take in the war from the Ming. Question is, is this part of that? How rich is this land? Not very. Culture is Shangdong, so it's not really a culture that we care about either. Some Jurchen culture here. Might leave that for the Jurchens to take and then us to take from the Jurchens afterwards. Um... That's probably all right. This is not all right. I'm just gonna hunt these dials down, use my other armies and my subject to do the sieging, 
and use my main army to simply, um, well, chase down the enemy stacks. See, they're there. Point nine. They ha don't have enough to actually siege. They have no manpower to reinforce that, hopefully. And, yep, it's didn't reinforce in the reinforcement tick. Which leads to that stack being irrelevant, which is awesome. Uh, if you're wondering why... <laughs> I guess if you're wondering, you haven't watched the first episode, but if you're wondering why these um, provinces here are controlled by Mongolia and not by me, um, it's because I don't want to pay for the forts that we took there. And we can always just take that back from our subject once we actually want a peace deal. Um, but until we want that, we would rather have our subject pay for it. Um, what does Tsang offer me here? 3%, 20 ducats. Do I want more? I guess just accepting all these. I'm just gonna refuse all of them. People are gonna hate me for it. But I think that's fine. I'm not super sure what exactly the repercussions are of this. So I don't know what diplomatic repercussions we're gonna have once we don't take the, the thing. Uh, once we don't pay back the loan. Ooh, Mongo tribes, that's okay. Yeah, they're gonna raise some autonomy in my subject's lands, but... That is, I think, something that we can live with quite well. Do I just take all of these? Um, let me real quick. EU for default on loan. Uh, refusing to pay back loan. Uh, they get a CB. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's any problem there. And I don't care about any of these people having a CB on me. So I think we're absolutely fine simply taking all these loans. And the reason we get these loans is because we're fighting Ming. And all of Ming's neighbors and stuff obviously like that idea. Ooh, the Ming army actually died to the rebels. I mean, I understand that they did and why they did it. But that's really great for us. We need to be a bit careful here not to have our own kill die to the rebels. Or at least not to... Well, to try not to fight those rebels. In fact, our general does not have a siege pip, right? No. So I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. I believe sieges double the chance, or they at least give you an extra chance of dying, um, or giving you general an extra chance of dying. Um, and I don't want my super great uh, ruler to die. I mean, he's a good ruler, but he's a great general. And that combination is just good. I mean, 335, that's way above average already. Bonus morale and reducing that war exhaustion is also quite great. And uh, the, ge the generalship that guy has been showing is just nuts. So yeah, my subject is going to take some pain here. They're going to have to give in to the, um, to the tribes and have their autonomy increase everywhere. But yeah, I don't think it's worth um, spending any energy on helping with that. Honestly. And now we're just, what we're trying to do here is just take as much of the Chinese as we can and uh, win from there. Now, it is super early to talk about this, but uh, these are unique circumstances, right? So, um, I'm wondering what to do after this. So we started this whole campaign with checking out that Chumu um, event chain. But clearly that was a lot quicker to trigger than I had anticipated. So we're at a spot where we essentially done with what we wanted to do this war uh, or this campaign. Uh, which obviously for episode two is quite early. Ooh, those are annoying. Um, I don't want to fight the Shun Separatists. Mm, don't like it. 
need to try to get a, to a decent PC quickly here. Let's see how much we can already take. I mean, the Ming are super beaten. Um, do we want the Mandate of Heaven? I don't think so. And we could just take the Mandate of Heaven, uh, I believe. Uh, claim Mandate of Heaven. And it's not as bad as it used to be to do that. But we would have Mandate issues. Um, and we wouldn't have a Ming that has mandate issues anymore. So I think I don't want to take this war. Next war, maybe. But this war, we take the mandate of heaven now. Then we just don't have that weak, um, disruptive or just, just dying Ming, which we want to have. So let's fill out states here. And consider trade nodes. Um... Wait, there's no money in here. Oh, that's probably because Ming is so dead, right? Can't imagine any other reason. Bit confusing, but hey. Um, let's check out the trade now. What does it say? Is Ming just collecting everything here? Ming, no, it's just no money. Let's check trade value here. No goods produced. Because <laughs> minus 170% percent efficiency, minus 50 percent strong occupation, and it's devastation, negative mandate. Okay, so this just currently doesn't produce any money. This land, it will once we have it, though. Um, so let's go back to thinking what we want. Um, I think we want everything that's in our trade node for sure, and then I guess we start eating our well into the our way. And we do want to take Beijing, right? So wait, I can't. So I can't make it a core. Oh, because it's Mongolian. Duh. Um, let's quickly swap you to be mine. Uh, let's do the same to the other force. Yeah, I'm going to have to swap it back in case we do continue um, the war. But for the sake of planning a peace deal here, let's do something like this. So we definitely want to take Beijing and all its state. And then we want to take everything that's in our trade node here. And then is this a state we already have stuff in? Ordos? Uh, oh, that's a big state, yeah. So, wait, you belong to that state, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's take Hitao and Ordos. Looks like it's a different state, but hey. Uh, that puts us only to 43%. We have to watch out for aggressive expansion, but probably actually not so much. I believe this is super rich land over here, right? Um, well, it's not that rich. This is rich land. And that is rich land, okay. So we want the Beijing trade node or the Xi'an trade node? I mean, I guess taking Beijing is fine. Uh, by taking Beijing, I mean taking their trade node. So we could just go like this. Still nobody cares except for the Ming themselves. And then... Uh, getting Lajou would be fun. Could take this state. We can take a lot of land here. We would be super overextended. So we definitely have to release the subject. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the thing. Um, I think there are a bunch of subjects around here that we could release. Still nobody cares. 96%, they would already do this. And then we are at peace. And we release probably at least two subjects and maybe feed some land to Mongolia as well. Um, question is, is there one more spot I want to take? What about those forts? Not that I want the forts, but I want to not pay for, uh, not have, not have Ming have them. Ningxia would be an interesting one. 100% they don't do. Hmm. A bit too much over war score. Yeah, let's just not take that. Let's do something like this. 
tick a set of ducats. That's a lot of money for a one point of war score. A lot of inflation too. Oh, maybe I don't want to take the money actually. Ah, we can pay off the inflation, it's fine. So we do this, we go to 191% overextension. And then we have to burn stuff down. Don't forget that. Uh, we burn all the land, so overextension will be a lot less. And then we go ahead and give it away. At least parts of it. Sure. Sure. Let's take a peace deal here. Thank you, Ming. Generous peace offer indeed. Oh, we can embrace an institution? Feudalism? Um, yeah, I think I want to do that. Also, before we burn down that land, uh, that means no tech penalty. That means we can take mill tech as well. Now, burning things. <laughs> Get raised. Do I raise Beijing is the question. Probably not. I mean, yeah, we are hot, we want to burn everything, but the third development province gives us H bonus, right? Yep. So yeah, let's leave Beijing. But burn the rest. Our hot unity is gonna be through the roof. I don't know that there's a way to spend it right now. I don't think you have any way here, no. Um, so yeah, we're wasting some hot unity here, but we're producing tons of monarch points and monies. Also reducing any problematic overextension. I mean, you can definitely argue for keeping the land unburned, but you would be wrong. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, there's certainly a sweet spot somewhere. And... But I feel that not burning everything is just... It's just the wrong approach to life. And that's why we are hoard, right? Just burn it all. Burn it all to the ground. Um, get burned, get burned, get burned. Gems province? It's already too small to burn. So I guess we won't. Fine. And then burn, burn, and not burn. I think we just burned everything, except for Beijing. Now, did it update my overextension? It did not. We're gonna have to wait one monthly tick to see how that overextension develops from here. Um, before I give stuff away. Uh, two more crisis gives me our tradition hot unity. We're gonna keep this at hand, right? This is done, so we can use this at any time we need that hot unity. Just cool. We can decide to encourage divination, which I want to do. Rite of passage, uh, division quest, yeah, and yeah, the minus twenty stability and plus one prestige from religious sacrifices. That's awesome. Now, can take tech actually ahead of time apparently, right? I'm gonna get innovativeness for taking admin tech this early. It's kind of nuts. Um, yes, that means we have less to use for coring, and maybe that was just a mistake right now. But hey, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna take the marketplace tech as well. Now. Regroup our troops. Oof. Get in there. Consider syncretic faith. Which just might have to be confusion these days. Alright. Because that's a lot of land. It's gonna help my unity a lot if I take confusion here. Yeah. Sorry to that commenter who asked me to be in Stay Vajrana. Um, it has... Oh, we should have done that first, though. 10% Agman test cost here that we could have just just kept. We didn't. Um, let's become Confusion. Or oh, make Confusion my thing. 
83 is much better unity. It's not good, it's much better. Um, could consider converting some land. There's something, there should be something here we already owned before, right? Um, I mean, I guess these things, like Bali, Dajiran, Ejin is already, yeah, this is already mine. But I really don't want the extra unrest right now. Let's not do that. Um, let's have a monthly tick pass. It's going to hurt us. Might even get negative events already. We've been warned by Ming not to go to war with any countries. Well, that just makes it easier for me to get into your thing, I think. 135, okay. So all we need to do is give away some land. Now, how rebellious are my Mongolian subjects? Yeah, not super unrebellious. See who we could release here. Could release Shan or Yan or Yin. Um, or Ki. Shan. Shan, Yan, Yin, Ki. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is key. Are there any more key cores around? There are. Why does it matter? Because we can... It's only two, though. But it's... I mean, it's 20 development. We can use these for either Reconquest Cow's Valley or at least to easily give away to my subject later. So that's nice. Um, you are the Yan. Which are no anywhere else. Um, who else was it? Is it these guys? No. These guys. The Shun. Um, show province, please. Uh, the Shun. There's another Shun core here with 15 and one more with 6. So that's pretty nice. And another one with 5. And another one. So that would be a lot of um, extra cores we can have. Now... The disadvantage here is that this is not a lot of land we're going to release. But it's going to help, and that leaves us a fort that we don't have to pay for because my subject is going to pay for it. Yeah. Let's release Shun for now. And then I'm sure we're going to have to release one more. There will be confusion, which, you know, is okay. I still hate that. Oh, they did update. Never mind. Uh, I think it doesn't update on just giving away pieces of land. Now, these are my cores. I don't want to feed Shun more. So we do either need to get one more subject or give stuff to the Mongolians. And I think I'd rather have one more subject. Um, but you're not going to do it. Are you? Six, eight, and eight. That's not going to do it. If I release you people... There's some development in there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. How are we doing on relations? Four to four. So we're already going over until we lose the Korchen Alliance or something, or eat one of our subjects. So it's probably better to release a big one. I guess I just released Jin then. Ah, he's so weak though. No, maybe we release Shun and then we check, uh, or whatever these guys are, key, and then we check whether we need to give land to the Mongolians. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna have to pay in. Um, stuff for a while in Diplo Points because of all those vassals and stuff. Why do you hate me so? Because I burnt your land? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, you know, it happens. Uh, how are we doing now? 103%. So that's just one more province to give away to the Mongols. Like anything that's in their own state in Mongolia here. Yeah, it makes sense to give them a whole heart. It's pretty good. But, yeah, let's give Hohot to these people. 
um, through the vessel interface. Mongolia, Grand Province, Hohat. Uh, liberty of desire will decrease and become 30%. Yeah, sure. What we're looking for is the reduction in overextension, which is not reflected here yet, but we should be below the problematic one now. Now, can we get an unrest advisor? We cannot. That would be lovely. Also, we want to refocus on dip once we can, because now we're really not doing well on dip. And then I'm going to start the coring. It's going to take a while. But hey, because we it's going to take a while and we don't have the admin to do anything. Mm, but still. Not getting anything there. Yeah, once we integrate our subject, things can work out there. All right, everybody moving home? Yep. Mongolia is gonna have to deal with their tribes, sure. So on the next monthly tick, I assume that our, un ooh, we have a great power now, uh, that our own unrest is still there, but we should be below 100% of our extension. We are, good. Uh, impressive. Uh, Chagatai no longer valid rival. Lost the tribe a few things, apparently. Accumulate rival. Now, Karadel. I did want to integrate you, but... Um, I assume vassalization is very much on the, on the menu, right? Yes. Just need to talk to you. We don't need to spy on the Ming anymore. Might as well fabricate some claims somewhere, but it's not like we need them. But it helps. Always good to have claims. Uh, helps with um, the speed of coring. And I'm not sure if it also reduces aggressive expansion, but it might. Um, so use that guy then to improve with Cardell. And... Uh, yeah. I really shouldn't have taken the tech. That was a mistake. I uh, really needed to use that um, admin to core all the land we took. Because we're going to have a lot of rebel issues here. Might even have to consider... Um, running some autonomy increase on the land before... One country is luckily fine. Um, before we get all the cores. I don't want that. But it's the thing we might have to consider. Mongolia having their own troops killed here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, they, they're clever enough not to do that, at least. Now, what I really want to do soon is start integrating my subjects. Uh, I'm just going to keep on doing cores as soon as we have the stuff. Um, if we integrate Mongolia, things are going to be much different. Renaissance spawned. <laughs> not here, not for us. But... I think it was right. It was probably wasn't right to take admin tech, but I think it was right to take tech. Um, the reason I'm talking about that right now is that we could instead have used the extra monarch points to do um, to develop uh, the next institution, which we're probably going to have to do. But not today, not today. Um, we need all the admin for this. We're gonna need all the dip for integration. Uh, leaves us with mill. Hmm. Actually, nothing particularly good to do here. Uh, we could offer the Mongolians um, the thing, right? What's it called? Isn't it economic action? No, it's sharing. Uh, they can't afford it. <laughs> uh, any of my other subject? Key? They're disloyal, but that's all. And you... Also disloyal. So we need to improve relations with these subjects as well. Uh, hey, Key. Like me. 
and then we're gonna have to make the Shun also like me at some point. And there's a good chance, actually, that these Shun... Ooh. Huh. <laughs> if these Shun Separatists win, which they should, because Ming doesn't have any troops, then they're gonna grow my subject, I believe. I didn't consider that when I made this decision, but that was good. Um, let's talk about forts, though. Um, we're paying two ducats for forts. Uh, for these two. Question is, do we want that? I mean, I don't want to pay for the forts, duh. The question is, do we want to kill the forts? This is a mountain fort, which is terrible for us anyway. I'm going to kill that one. Uh, I think I'm going to keep Beijing. I'm going to turn it off for now. But it's a flatland fort, which is good for hordes. And um, we may have to fight some rebels up here. In the not too distant future. Uh, War games. One of six options will happen. Glorious Khan, successful games, ruinous games, legendary games, rising star. And shining star. Whoop. Nobody knows. Can I be in Beijing this month? Yes. Uh, successful games. Gain 10 loyalty on the tribe's estate, gain stability and 5 armor tradition. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Speaking of the tribes, can I buy from you a manpower modifier guy? Yeah. Put the boots down again. And check out more cores. Core, core, core. So, did I talk about this? I did talk about this. What do you want? Chagatai Khan and Separatists? They are not for us, right? They are not staying here. No. Um, we're at the end of an episode. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this campaign in the future. Uh, I'm definitely going to record at least one more episode here. I think we can go a bit and see how Ming collapses. But let me know in the comment section what you want to do from here. Because we did the two move event chain. We did what we came to do. Um, yeah, we could click this button, but that's uh, about all that's left to that. Uh, so we're gonna watch main collapse, but what then? Any ideas what we could do in this campaign? Um, that's interesting. Or um, alternatively, any other new campaigns? Maybe something with the new patch that you still want to see. There's still a bunch of uh, stuff up here. We could play as um, a Jurchen tribe instead of the now very powerful Oirat. Uh, we could play in Japan. Um, we could of course play as Ming, but I'm not sure that that's really what you want to see. Um, although it might be interesting to see it from the from the inside. Um, yeah, last thing. Quick look at the great powers. We are on the board. Not ginormous, but we're on the board. And it's only gonna get better. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. No, there. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, there's a comment section that I'm a big fan of. Please talk to me in that. Um, especially if you're new here, or if you're, you know, if you're around here, you know the drill. If you're new here, I just, just uh, adore talking to you guys down there. And it helps the channel. That's just like a win-win-win-win-win situation, right? So, do it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.